Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be doing a full unboxing and review of the Aorus X7. This is a 17 inch gaming laptop with a primary focus on its ability to be incredibly thin and also it has a lot of gaming power due to the double NVIDIA GPUs and SLI. As you see everything will be double boxed when it comes to shipping in a very minimalistic nature, there's not a whole lot of cover art and graphics either on the inside box or the outside box, but everything is well packaged for protection. As we get into the inside box, you'll see that the laptop is going to be immediately available to you on the top, covered in a cloth covering to keep it from getting scratched. Now from within the cloth covering, we can actually pull out and show you the laptop for the first time. As you can see, it is indeed very thin, and that is one of the primary features of this laptop, is trying to target those who want a very thin profile laptop. The next thing we'll retrieve from the box is going to be your standard driver's disc and manuals. On the right hand side we're going to have the extension cable that comes from your DC and AC power adapter. And that's actually going to be everything as far as accessories inside of the box. It's a very minimalistic packaging as far as what's included but it does give you everything you need to be up and running. Now we can go ahead and step in and take a closer look at the X7 itself and show you all of the features that the laptop has. For starters, you can take notice of the 17.3 inch matte display that the laptop has. On top of that, we have a note letting us know that if you go to the company's website and register, you do get a three month extension to your warranty for free. Still now just taking a look at the general look and features of the laptop, you'll see that we have a nice low profile chiclet style keyboard. We do have some nice gaming keys on the left hand side, as well as our NVIDIA GTX SLI badge on the left hand side. The very large touchpad with the built in left and right clicks and a glossy coating. If you move in, we have the lights turned on now. If we go down to a lower angle, you'll notice that we do have a backlight behind the keyboard so that it can be used easily in the dark. And here's a nice angle so you can see the reflection available from the touchpad as well. Now let's go take a quick tour of the features you'll find inside the laptop. We'll start that with the device manager so we can show you the hardware included in this package. On the X7 you do have two NVIDIA GTX 765 mobile video cards and SLI. That gives you a very nice high-end performance when it comes to the video card of the laptop. For the CPU, which is going to be just as important, we have the Intel Core i7 4700HQ. So this is a quad-core CPU with a standard operating frequency of 2.4 GHz on each of those cores. Now we're moving into a piece of specialized software, which is the Macro Hub. This is where you can make use of all those gaming keys we saw to the left-hand side. Within the software layer, you can assign different features to each one of those keys and customize them to exactly what you want them to do. Whether it's standard system shortcuts to help speed up your workflow and increase your efficiency, or you'd rather venture into the fully customized macros that you can design yourself to perform some kind of feature, usually within a video game or on certain programs. As we showcase the software on screen, you can see that it's pretty easy to use. 
Using the standard system shortcuts, we have a nice and easy drag and drop interface. It's when you move into the full on custom macro mode that things have a lot more options open up and it gets a little bit more complicated to use. At this point, you can add anything you would like to do as far as delay to button presses using mouse clicks, keyboard clicks. You can even record macros with a record mode. So you do have a lot of features in here and this feature will come in handy for those who take the time to make the most of it. Now it's time to give you a high level tour of the outside of the laptop's perimeter to display all the input and output devices. We do have on the front right hand side our status LEDs. As we swing around to the right hand side of the laptop we're going to find what looks like a vent but this is simply an opening to help the speakers from inside the laptop let the sound out so you can hear it more clearly. Following by the uh, SD card reader, two USB 3.0 ports, an HDMI port, mini display port, and then we have one of the true exhaust vents that's capable of cooling the inside of the system. The way that the cooling system works on this laptop is we do have dual fans on each of the rear corners. Intake is going to be from the side of the laptop and exhaust out through the rear. The outside structure of the laptop is very important and this one the X7 has a matte black aluminum lid so that gives you a nice durable frame to the laptop. As we take a look at the center in our rear side for connections we have the AC-DC port here so that we can charge the laptop and two standard USB 2.0 ports for connectivity. And finally coming around to the last side we're going to find in the very back on the left hand side is our Kinnickstein lock port. Again our intake vent for the cooling. RJ45 connection for local networking. Another HDMI output. DB15 for VGA output. A USB 3.0 port. Microphone and headphone input output and our final opening here for the left side speaker. All right, now it's time to weigh in the X7 itself. We have it on a scale and it's showing up at just about seven pounds if you're carrying only the laptop. However, with a laptop of this nature, you're most likely gonna be adding the power adapter and that's gonna bring it a little bit closer to nine pounds and travel weight. This is a high-end gaming laptop, so most people won't go anywhere without the power adapter. All said, the X7 comes out to be pretty average as far as how much weight you would expect, and it still does have that nice, easy-to-carry thin profile. Now it's time to emphasize exactly how thin that profile is. We're now looking at the rear of the laptop at the thickest portion, and as you can see, we're still under an inch. As we move over to the front side, it does get a little bit thinner and we're still under that one inch margin. These measurements are including the standoffs at the bottom of the laptop itself. So this is the worst case scenario as far as measuring the thickness. So with measurements and weight in hand, you can see that the X7 gives you an opportunity to take advantage of a large 17 inch laptop screen without having a lot of bulk or weight. Now that all the aesthetics are out of the way, it's time to get to the core of any gaming laptop and that's going to be the performance. There's not much you can say about how great a gaming laptop would be, no matter how thin or light or how pretty it is if it doesn't have the performance to play the games you want. So we're currently running the X7 through a whole assortment of benchmarks so we can let you know how well it performs in the gaming environment that you'd be placing it in. With dual video cards and a high-end CPU, not just the performance scores of the benchmarks, but also the cooling system of the laptop itself will be put to quite a test. And so the numbers are in, and we're going to start with 3D Mark 11. We were given a performance score of 6,847 on this system, out of the box defaults. Over here we have the temperatures during that benchmark. As you can see the X7 actually handled all this quite admirably. The temperatures that we received after benchmarking didn't even come near what we've seen from other high-end gaming laptops. Only 75 degrees Celsius max on the hottest of the video cards. 
Now for our other benchmark scores, we also do have 3D Mark Vantage, which is more known by some people. We were able to get a performance score of 24,301 on this test. So those are nice and very reasonable scores for any kind of gaming machine. And now it's time for us to move into our final segment of the review for the X7, and that's going to be the minor disassembly to show you all the internal hardware and just how this laptop comes together as a full machine. Looking at the bottom side first, you'll see that we do have a wide assortment of intake vents from multiple areas to help air get into the system and keep everything cool. Once we remove several screws, because this is not the most easy to take apart system as far as easy access to the internal components, we're going to be able to remove the bottom side of the laptop and get a peek at the internal hardware. Now to make up for some of the difficulty in removing the bottom door, the good news is once you have the bottom half of the laptop taken off, you do have access to most of the system right away. We have our mechanical hard drive in the bottom left hand side, and then in the center we have four RAM slots in total. Two of them are currently occupied and two are empty, leaving us for room to upgrade the system RAM. Down below the RAM you'll find the internal system battery, and then up above that we're going to find the subwoofer for sound, and two microSATA SSDs from LightOn, and these come in a default configuration of RAID 0 for stripping. Then hiding behind that cable there, we're going to have our Bluetooth and Wi-Fi wireless card. And here is a fairly high level look at the system's cooling. As you can see, dual fan, we have intake from one side, exhaust out the back. Nice thick low profile heat pipes to carry that cooling power into the double GPUs and the Intel CPU. And so with the end of the disassembly means also it is time for the end of our review. We hope you enjoyed the video on the X7 and that we were able to give you the information you were looking for when it comes to determining if this is a product you would like to own. We have to say in conclusion that the X7 is a very reasonable laptop. It's very thin profiles. That's attractive to a lot of people. The performance is admirable and so is the cooling. So it all comes together to a fairly nice complete package. If you would like to seek out further information on the X7, you should head over to our website, gentechpc.com. There we have the full system specifications, product pictures, and the current pricing and availability. So once again, we just want to remind you that this was Gentech PC, and we'll see you next time.